Are you tired of being ripped off for the lowest of the low garbage tier matte finish stinky LCD bullshit? Well, then I have great news because it's sounding like in not too long we could finally lay our hands with the force of God on our first 4K 144Hz glossy OLED monitor. That's right, the wailing and gnashing of teeth can cease because a new challenger is approaching to fix this absolute dumpster fire of a display industry, which let's talk about that real quick. I'd like to say that the monitor industry is in its lowest point right now with how bad and overpriced the majority of products are on the market, but unfortunately that would be a lie because ever since we strayed away from CRT, the monitor industry has been dropping nothing but fat turds on our porch for years. And I don't know about you guys, but I've had enough. And if I see one more company trying to charge over a thousand dollars for an LCD based display with a matte finish, I think I'm gonna completely lose it. Heck, even over like $350, it's hard to recommend any LCDs and even the best of them still use a hideous, oily, grainy matte finish which ruins the clarity, contrast, and vibrancy of the display to such a degree that I absolutely refuse to use one no matter how good or affordable every other aspect of the display is. So here we are, I'm using a 55 inch TV as a monitor because it's the only good looking glossy 4K 144 Hertz OLED on the market. But guys, as I mentioned earlier, all this could be changing very soon. So not only did we just talk about that huge leak from TFT about a bunch of 4K OLEDs coming next year from LG and Samsung, but I got even more info on stuff that could be coming even sooner because while many of those monitors were allegedly planned to be releasing by late next year sometime, many of the specs lead me to believe that the majority won't actually come until 2025. But guys, I'm an absolute goblin and I want it now. Give me, give me. Okay, in all seriousness, if you're like me and you can't bear the thought of waiting as long as over a year and a half to two years plus for actually good monitors, then let me inject some pure unrefined copium straight into your ass with this silly little anecdote. Now, this discussion all started when the YouTuber stopped. The FOMO mentioned that he believed LG would bring MLA Tech and 144 hertz to next year's LG C4. And if you don't know, MLA Tech is that new stuff they're using on their gallery series of TVs this this year and some of the monitors like that new one from Asus, they're using a display from LG using MLA that is allowing for much, much higher brightness. And I'll be honest guys, I actually think he's right. This year, the LG C series is stuck with the older OLED panels that aren't using MLA, which have their fair share of issues. And the biggest one is that they just aren't bright enough. After calibration, LG's previous panels are closer to 140 nits full screen and well under 1000 nits peak brightness, which in my opinion, just isn't quite bright enough to give you that impact full HDR experience accurately represent the creator's intent with HDIG, give me a fat chub or use it for work purposes. But if they bring the G3's MLA tech to next year's 42 inch C4, things could change and quickly. Plus, unlike the TFT leak, you would be able to get these possibly less than a year from now, which while still is a long wait, it's also much sooner. And the reason I believe LG will be forced to bring MLA and 144 to their C4 lineup to some extent is that Samsung is being very aggressive with the pricing of their OLED TVs, especially when you look at like the S90C, that sort of stuff is just going to be bringing a lot of pressure onto LG. And this will likely force LG's hand to raise the specs of their cheaper and smaller TVs, much like they did with their larger G3 series this year. Now do keep in mind, this could also end up not happening, but if you're holding out for a good 4K gaming monitor, this is likely going to be your best bet in the coming months. Whether you're looking to connect a new console, gaming PC, or just need a fast and reliable HDMI cable to connect over long distances, RuPro has you covered with their RuPro AK HDMI 2.1 fiber optic cable available in sizes ranging from 3 to 165 feet and can deliver a perfect full 48 gigabits per second connection over distances other cables could only dream of 
overreaching. And with 48 gigabits per second of bandwidth, it can easily drive 8K at 60 FPS or 4K at 120 FPS HDR10 video through its ultra thin, flexible, and durable housing, and it even supports eARC. So if you're in the market for a cable that can drive a beautiful new TV or monitor, be sure to check out RuPro on Amazon today.